the referendum was about changing the name. It was about the PRESPA agreement and of course it was about EU and NATO integration as the important and the, as the uh, I, you have to have the dispute, the name dispute finished in order to continue with the EU and NATO integration. I think the, the citizens of Macedonia received the call on referendum as very as something that is very important for the society. And the low turnout is also a political statement. It's a political statement of the maybe majority of the citizens who decided to uh, boycott the referendum since uh, in accordance to our laws, in order for referendum to be successful, more than 50% of the voters should go out and uh, vote on the possible, uh, on, the, on the options they have. It was perceived as very important, but the low turnout doesn't uh, show that the people were uh, not interested. So in one hand it showed that yeah, the boycott had uh, a lot of supporters and on one hand that the many people were misleaded, believing that uh, the PRISPA agreement is really touching and changing the, uh, I the national and ethnic identity of the Macedonian, which was not true. I think that uh, the first thing, on the first consequence of the referendum is a crisis. Again, Macedonia is uh, facing a new political crisis and you have to understand that this is a society that uh, like 27 years uh, it is this is amount of time that Macedonia is independent uh, country is faced like maybe every two years in a uh, big emergency life of that situation which always after that follows a uh, political and social crisis so people are tired from it. This is a society where people uh, mostly goes to see a doctor, and this is a result from the uh, Public Health Institute, mostly goes to see a doctor on the issues of depression and anxiety. So it's a society that is stressed, that is burnout, and another political crisis will make it even worse. And the referendum, I think this is the, the immediate uh, consequences. There won't be like direct consequences on the uh, on the situation here, but it will enter the state in another political crisis. In general, we can uh, apply this pro-Russia and pro-Western uh, uh, rhetorics on retrograde and progressive rhetorics. So um, the ones who were supporting the boycott were actually the ones who were really uh, relying on nationalistic discourse, very uh, exclusive discourses that, we, that were focused on ethnicity and nationality. And it's very interesting, interesting that in this part of the, uh, in this group of uh, people and political actors, even the leftists join. And the other one who are, are let's say by the media, media called pro-West are the ones who are supporting EU integration, uh, some of them even NATO integration as part of the, the process, but, but also support more, more liberal uh, values or see the name dispute or, uh, as, something, as a problem that should be solved. After 27 years, the PRESPA agreement was a good agreement. And it was uh, an open door, open door so that Macedonia can move forward. Uh, but uh, what does it mean in the everyday life of citizens? I'm sorry, but I think nothing, because uh, after 30th of the September, it's the 1st of October, we still face the same problems we always face, corruption, poverty, human rights violation. So it doesn't mean a lot. The whole campaign and all the debates around the referendum showed that Macedonia is a very separated society and we are divided on many levels, uh, ethnicity but also uh, political ideology. And uh, it's a so society that really needs reconciliation. It's been 27 years since we have uh, independent states. And in those years, we are most prominently and very focused disc uh, dis discussing as a state and as a society on issues such as the state, the borders, the nation. And I think we haven't uh, come to the stage where we discuss about the people. 
So if one thing can be said is that another political crisis will make another separation and the society will be even more divided and we need a serious strategy of reconciliation if we want this society to move forward.